has been tried and found guilty of crimes against the People's Republic of Cambodia. You men will redeem yourselves in the eyes of the world by taking up arms against the American capitalists. You are still at war with your native land, committed to the struggle of the third world. Days, honey. Yeah. And tell Sid only large TV talkers, right? No FM radio stuff. <laughs> yeah, and I don't like those 8x10 glossies, honey. I think the logo should be centered, no dress, right? Right. Ciao, baby. Mr. Leong. These guys act like I just fell out of an egg roll. There's a man up in the living room to see you. He wouldn't tell me his name. He's Oriental. Well, that earns him a fortune cookie and a U-turn. Throw him out. Yes, sir. Who's this? Jerry? Yeah, good. Is his stuff being offloaded? Well, watch out for those thieves from Hong Kong. Inventory the entire shipload. And keep it on schedule. Wait. Oh, the hand-painted tie is cooking here, Jerry. We are smoking. Yeah. Ciao. I told him to wait in the living room. I'll show him out. No, no, no. You just go. It has been some time, Colonel. You're looking good, General. Since the last time we met in Moscow, well, you haven't changed at all. In 12 years, you've done quite well, Fong. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, for the sake of uh, my people, I have labored, sir. I've become this most hated of beings, a, a capitalistic pig, for the purpose of uh, making my cover secure and performing the people's work. It is necessary for you to own 50 restaurants to preserve this cover. It is necessary to spit on the traditions of our nation by naming these restaurants in such a degrading fashion, a hand-painted tie. Well, sir, if one is to convince others that he is a capitalist, one must think and act like a capitalist. It is time to deliver. The Platinum Rosebud, 15 miles below the Hanson Dam. A brain trust of the finest Western minds is convening for a clinic. And when the dam goes, they will go with it. Setting back Western technology a hundred years. A secondary effect will be the death of 10 million people and the devastation of prime United States agriculture. And you will pick me up at the Big Six Motel. I have a small room there. Eight tonight. Now you are no longer to exercise your cover. You are now a suicide agent of the People's Army of Cambodia. Why? Why now? Going national. So the shiksa has to do a couple of scenes in the buff. Now, I'm not talking about a chilly dinner. This is a big picture. Look, in 20 minutes, we withdraw the offer, and you lose your 10% of a prime rib deal. Bye. Mr. Box, there's a man named Smith on the phone. So? He wants to talk to you. He said it's something about a yellow blowgun. He's on line three. Marty? Yes? Platinum Rosebud. Sunset 101, 16 R, 12 clicks, 1900. Sunset 101, 16 R, 12 clicks, 1900. I think you might want to read this. Mr. Box, where are you going? Arts Garage, Toaster, it's hard speaking. 
Platinum Rosebud. Sunset 101, 16R. Sunset 101, 16R. 12 clicks, 1900. 12 clicks, 1900. For us to get in for free, Bill. <laughs> Terrific. Boy, I love a good basketball game. Do we have to sit with them delinquents you teach? Those delinquents. At least they have good English, Bill. Hello? Platinum Rosebud. Sunset 101. 16R. 12 clicks. 1900. Huh? Is this Timothy Leiter? Hold on. Bill, do you know a guy named Tim Leiter? Yeah, you're sitting on his desk. Leiter, your mommy wants you. It's line four. Hold on. I'll be right here. I'm going to put you on hold. Boy, I love all that cloak and dagger stuff you guys use. It's how we keep the country safe, Ralph. Don't knock. Hey, Miss Sage, we got to sit out there all day long. How did you get in here with no ID? I walked. You know, the bus is getting uh, really hot out there. It ain't got no air conditioning. Ain't got no? Oh, Ralph, I love what you're doing with the uh, grammar there. They're all starting to sound like Danny's doctors. What do you got? Carlisle's interstate woodchopper. Six park rangers dead in a month. Looks like he belongs in the main tank of marine land, don't he? Doesn't he? I'm a school teacher. I just go through life correcting people's English. It's kind of a habit, you know, like biting your fingernails. I don't make chair teach. Oh, sorry. Line four. Agent Leiter, may I help you? Is this Timothy Leiter? Yes, it is. Platinum Rosebud. Sunset 101, 16R. 12 clicks, 1900. Come on, come on, hurry, let's go. The elevator's waiting. Some game. Yeah, you know, we was talking. We hope these seats aren't right behind the basketball net, because you know you can't see nothing. Uh, honey, this is the forum, not the projects. <laughs> Every seat is center court. Tim, you know the forum. I'll see. That's center court, right? Tim? I don't think he's with us, Bill. No. Every Fed is always with us. They teach that kind of high-tech concentration in Fed school. Hey, I saw a guy have an epileptic seizure once. He looked just like that before he went into convulsions. He's out. No, he's a kidder. He was always a big kidder. Tim, you okay? Tim? What's the matter with you? Put that thing away. in your bus with your kids and a counselor. What? Driving. Do it, Tony. Driving. Who is he? What is he? What is, I don't know. What is he doing shooting at you, I Bill? I don't know. I've been saying good morning to him for five years. I don't even know him. Listen, where's the suit? It's in the bus. What? I don't wear it to bed either, Bill. Come on, we were going to a ball game. Give me a break. Okay, here we go. Let's bash this guy. Hold it! Hey. Okay, hold it right there! Hey! Hold it right there! Official federal government business. Out. Come on, come on. Hey, what are you doing?
sir. Uh, would you like to tell us who you are and what you want? Yeah, I can't hear a word you're saying. He's about six bricks short of full load there, Mr. Davidson. Bill, don't do anything, all right? I'm responsible for these kids. I don't want to see him get hurt. Oh, tell me the job. Who is this guy? What happened to him? I don't know. He got some bad shrimp for lunch. Just don't lose him. It's just a cover, General. We eat the best foods, listen to their music, drive their cars, and destroy their decadent society when they aren't looking. Yeah. I believe your phone is ringing, Fong. Uh, no, it's not. It, uh, I, I'm getting a shot that makes it ring like that. Go. I mean, Mr. Liang speaking. Hey, Sean, I think that was wrong down here. You know, we got 350 cases of soy sauce that aren't moving out. I mean, the truck's in, ah, uh, in oh, the alley. And, uh, uh, and yeah, gonna uh, look, uh, this is a... Uh, 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 I really can't... Uh, yeah, well... Uh, yeah, 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 well, that's what happens in this crummy country. Can't just sell you with this stuff, will you? I'm busy, don't bother me, okay? Capitalist inefficiency. It makes me want to vomit watching these fools play their mindless games. 
Here it is, General. 16 miles up Highway 101. Turn right and drive 12 kilometers. Missing one agent. Yeah, Sergeant Leiter. Uh, Twelve years is a long time. It is quite possible that our technique was unsuccessful. It, one man doesn't show. Maybe he's been deprogrammed. Uh, he's too much a threat to our mission with the information he carries in his head. You'll eliminate Leiter. He's a federal agent. I will say this one time. I feel that you are no longer the man I knew 12 years ago. You disgust me. You have new ways. If this program fails, you will die in the most terrible manner I can devise. I'll kill you slowly, Fong, slowly and without mercy. I'm busy. Talk to Sally. Bring them inside. Pancho. and found guilty of crimes against the People's Republic of Cambodia. The time for our mission has arrived. You men can still redeem yourselves in the eyes of the world by taking up arms against the American capitalists. You're still at war with your native land, committed to the struggle of the Third World. Our mission is to blow up this structure us flooding the surrounding area and destroying our enemies who are gathered there. And upon completion of this mission, you men will eliminate yourselves. Kids. Well, they're a little bit shaken up, but I think they'll live. I had Ray Bob take them home. I'd say that was a little bit strange, wouldn't you? Strange is not the word for it. I can't believe it to now. I, you know, this guy's agent operational profile is A-OK -okay, perfect all the way across the board, and he snaps just like that. I mean, uh, this is not a guy who was flying light. He's not. What kind of agent you don't even have to check the spelling in his reports. How's that for a scenario? Agent Maxwell? Yes. You can see him now. Thank you. Maybe he's got, you know, like family problems. Oh, I think it's more than that. Mm. Man like this goes around a bend and, uh, I don't know, you begin to think you're traveling in a fast lane yourself. Tim, you awake? How you feeling? Lousy. Well. I gotta ask you eventually, might as well be now. Um, what the heck happened? <laughs> I mean, uh, you pulled a gun on a bus full of kids. Last thing I remember, I was handing out that flyer on the park wood chopper. You really don't remember anything else? Not a thing. You pulled a gun on me, Tim. I don't remember that. Oh, I swear. Well, it happened. I don't know how or why, but it happened. Uh, we were in the bullpen, and you got a telephone call. You okay? Uh, no. I, I just uh, platinum rosebud. Platinum rosebud. Bill, what's going on? I don't know, pal. But I'm going to find out. 
Now, you stay down and stay easy and do what they tell you. The darnest thing I've ever seen in my life was sitting right there. One minute, he's talking to me like a regular, ordinary fit, and the next second, he's talking some kind of jabber about Rosebud. This is some crazy scenario. Oh, scenario, scenario. I hear that word one more time, I'm gonna scream, Bill. I wouldn't scream in here, Counselor. They drop the net on you and start showing you ink blots. Rosebud. Bill, that was the first word I heard when I answered Leiter's phone. Platinum Rosebud. I thought it was some kind of a, a florist or something. It sounds like a nightclub, a place where people go to meet or something. Well, when he got the call, Leiter left immediately. Boy, left isn't the right word. When he got in that elevator with us, it wasn't even there. It was like a, some kind of a trance. A trance? You mean like a hypnotic trance? Yeah, yeah, exactly like that. Wait a minute. I mean, it was in like a zombie or something. Wait a minute. Hold it. What are you, kidding? Hypnosis? An FBI man? Don't be silly. Anyway, that stuff is a lot of bunk. It is not the bunk, Bill. The AMA has authorized its use in some areas, mainly pain control. Last year, Erica Van Dam was brought in on a case we were handling. We won the case based on her testimony. Mm. Erica Van Dam, the nightclub hypnotist? Give me a break. Well, maybe she can answer some of our questions. Yeah, I bet if we hurry, we can catch her show tonight and talk to her mm. after the show. That stuff is a lot of Hollywood hooey. I'm not going to sit there and watch her make some guy bark like a dog, and that's the end of that. Let's go. Now, I'm going to give you all a word. When you hear that word, you will sleep. A deep, deep sleep. Do you believe this gunk? And the word is... How about scenario, Bill? Has everyone heard that? The word is birdcage. You, sir, are a ballet dancer. And you are catching butterflies. <laughs> and you are a chicken. How about that? Let's have a big round of applause. She's great. Thank you. Now, you will awaken as I touch your forehead. You will awaken refreshed, and the word birdcage will hold no further associations for you. Thank you. Another round of applause for these people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please return to your seats. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, I will ask you all please to remain seated until I make a pass through the audience, as it has been my experience that many people remain entranced whilst listening to the show. Thank you. Good night. This dame ought to be selling snake oil with that lingo. I am now going to pass among you with a tin cup, because I got you under hypnotic hoosus, bottom of the birdcage on that one. I don't know, Bill. Her voice is so hypnotic, it's incredible. I really felt it pulling me. Your socks are too tight, and you're still drinking that junk. You should have some of this good wild rooster, no ice. So, how do you all enjoy the show? It was wonderful, Erica, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, this is Ralph Hinckley. How do you do? Hello. And Bill Maxwell. Ma'am? Hello. Amazing, absolutely incredible how you can control somebody's mind like that. Yeah, Miss Van Dam really ought to take a crack at some of your space cadets, Ralph. <laughs> it is a form of mind control. The power of suggestion is very strong. Is it possible to give somebody a post-hypnotic suggestion and then recall it, say, ten years later? When you give someone a post-hypnotic suggestion, you are planting an association in the subject's mind. It would take tremendous conditioning, but theoretically, yes, it's possible. Well, what do you think, Bill? Well, I think we ought to thank Miss Van Dam for her time and her efforts here, and uh, we better get along home. Uh, I'm sure she's tired after her performance, and we don't want to keep her up too late. You uh, sound like a skeptic, Mr. Maxwell. Yeah, realist. Well, hypnosis is very real, Mr. Maxwell. Your government has been doing extensive scientific research to corroborate that. Uh, yeah, well. Mm. Oh, well, thanks again, Erica. Anytime, Pam. Ralph? All right. Good night. Good night. Oh, talk about a waste last night. Bill, that was definitely not a waste of time. I mean, we know now when... 
Timmy flipped out that it was possibly due to a post-hypnotic suggestion being called in. Yes, uh, like uh, Platinum Rosebud. I think we should get the doctor to check him out and see how he reacts to that phrase, Platinum Rosebud. That is definitely not the scenario. That is a perfectly good scenario. I thought so myself. Absolutely not. No way in a hundred years. Hello. Timothy Leiter? Yes. The rosebud is dead. out of order. Sold out, Fong. Did not, sir. You are a disgrace to the People's Republic. Look at you. At all of this opulence, decadence, wealth. I spit on it. Too. You will take the place of Sergeant Leiter in our mission. You were a brilliant leader once. And that's why you were picked for this mission. I volunteered, sir. I know it's a small point. You haven't been corrupted as you claim. You will have lost nothing. I regained my respect as a comrade. But if you're lying, I will kill you with my bare hands, slowly, like the creeping of winter. Yes? Your ex-wife. Yes, dear. But, but, but it's a Rolls Royce. Nothing can be wrong. I'm telling you, Bill, there is a definite connection here. Two phone calls, two suicide attempts, one successful. Yeah, well, if you hadn't lost the guy, I mean, and all we got now is that uh, uh, Tim was on the phone to some Oriental gink just before he went out the window. I mean, suppose it was uh, some old pally, it's oh, from Nam. And he just happened to be on the phone, a coincidence, just before Tim lost it. I'm telling you, something is going on here, all right? Yes, that's right. Uh, poor old Tim has popped his clutch. That's what's going on. I mean, it happens a lot to the law enforcement officers, unfortunately. It's a high-stress job, so I don't want to hear any more about <sighs> hypnosis and, and, and buzzwords and all that junk. Oh, come on. Platinum Rosebud meant something, all right? All it right, meant and something. then we're going to find out what it was as soon as Eugene brings up the transcript. 
of all of the telephone calls that went in or out of that extension yesterday, so we get the message exact. You're a little fuzzy on that, too. Uh, listen, I want to call Pam and see how she is. You got a phone around here that maybe isn't perhaps bugged? That's very funny. When they do it, it's called bugging. When we do it, it's called family monitoring. Hey, Bill, I just heard about what happened to Tim. What's the scenario on that one? He was always such a fun guy. He always used to mix up the files in Carlisle's folder before he'd go in for a staff meeting. You wouldn't think a guy with a sense of humor like that would punch out his own time card. I, I would have never figured on that scenario. Ow! Whoa, wait a minute. Bill, you okay? Oh, no, I'm not. It burns. <coughs> Most people use oh. a cup, Bill. You know? Damn. This thing is defective. It's got a dribble glass hole in it. Gee whiz. Maxwell? Yeah. Maxwell, are you all right? Oh, peachy. Is that it? Yeah, this is it. Uh, I scanned all the tapes, and that's every incoming and outgoing phone call from extension 1214 for the entire day. Oh, you're a treasure, Eugene. We need more kids like you in the bureau. Thank you, sir. I'm going to take the written test next month. I, uh, I hope to move up. Uh, Bill. Yeah, how's the counselor? Well, I couldn't reach her. She already went into the courtroom. But you got the transcripts there, huh? You got a hot Maxwell scenario for us? I love that. I love it when you guys talk like that. I don't believe we've met. I'm Eugene Vail, transcripts, but I hope to move up to investigation very soon. Hi, Ralph Hinckley. Nice to meet you. So you got a hot one, huh? Yeah, it looks that way, I think. Oh, wait, but I wouldn't give for a chance at that to be out in the field. And the lingo, I just eat it up with a spoon when you guys talk that way. Scenario. Yeah, here it is. Sunset 101, 16R, 12 clicks, 1900. Sounds like some kind of a code, doesn't it? A code? That's great. OK. Thanks again, Eugene. Super job. By the way, Ralph, this is Eugene. Oh, yeah, we already met, Bill. Where have you been? Huh? Oh, uh, I was just concentrating, that's all. Now, uh, Eugene? Yes, sir. Uh, would you mind uh, getting out of the way we could use the door? Yes, sir. Thanks. Come on, Ralph. We got something hot here. Something hot. I love it. OK. All right, well, all we got here is uh, Sunset 101, 16 R, 12 clicks, 1900. Sunset and a bunch of numbers, that doesn't mean anything. Oh, well, well. Quickest Timmy heard this gobby on a phone. He set off heading somewhere. Let's see, 1900. That's time, obviously. That's uh, 7 o'clock. 12 clicks. Clicks is military for a kilometer. They use that in NAM. Timmy was in NAM. Well, following the same analogy, uh, Highway 101, Sunset 101. Well, let me see. Sunset. Uh, no, it couldn't mean the time. We already have the time. Yeah. Is there a Sunset Boulevard on ramp at Highway 101? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Come on. Boy, what would you do without me? I don't know. Sunset Boulevard on ramp at Highway 101. Uh, 16 R means 16 miles. Turn right. 12 kilometers. Meet there in 1900 hours. Well, sounds about right. Bill, it all makes sense. Come on, platinum rosebud is the key word to induce the hypnotic trance. Come on, are we back on that again? Sven Gallian is walking dead. Come on, Bill. Now, the Viet Cong were involved in a number of uh, brainwashing operations during the war. Isn't it just possible? Well, uh, we'll find out anyway. Get out to this secret rendezvous that Tim was headed for. And you got the suit on, holograph yeah. around, fill in the gaps, and we'll come up with some kind of scenario. All right, I'm telling you, Tim Leiter, could have been in a hypnotic trance when he pulled that crazy stunt. It would sure make the whole thing make sense. Bill! Bill, what is the matter with you? Wake up! Bill? Hey, 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 hey. Come on. Come on, guy. Uh, 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 what did she, what was that word? Birdcage. Birdcage, Bill, birdcage. All right, listen to my voice. When I count to three, you're going to wake up. OK? One, two, three. Wake up. Terrific. OK. Come on. Come on. Move over. Move over. Let's go. Move over. Up. Come on. Get over there. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Terrific. OK. Um, street, uh, bush, tree, shrub. Uh, bad guys, good guys, um, uh, bus.
Marty, what can I do you? Here for Granger. Probably some sump on A-level. Shoot, Granger don't come in on weekends, never does. Yeah? He didn't say nothing about repairs. Fine with me, just as I'm having the rest of the day off myself. All right, fellas? Sorry, fellas. Hey, no sweat. Just give me your old John Hancock and department number, and we'll get out of your head. What am I signing for? Look, buddy, you got your job, I got mine. You know, I don't want to get the flack when they find out I wasn't here when I was supposed to. All right, just, you can send right here. Uh, maybe I should make a call. More in A level and one guard roaming. Snake oil, government, research, scoop dick, a butterfly, ballet dancer, chicken, uh, CIA, FBI, uh, uh, spaceship. Green guys. Uh, KGB. Uh, garbanzo beans. Barn. No. trying to reach you. Well, I was in court. What's the matter? Bill's in a trance. A what? Well, he just all of a sudden drew a blank on me, and I can't seem to bring him back around. Well, he must have been put under last night at the show. Well, then there has to be a word that puts him in and out. Yeah, well, I tried to use that word that Eric used in a show last night, birdcage, but it doesn't seem to be having any effect on him. Pam, it could be almost anything. Maybe something uh, somebody said during the show. Uh, Ralph, try scenario. What? Trust me, try scenario. Scenario? Yeah, we ought to be there at that barn in about 20 minutes. What's the matter with my watch? Pam, thank you very much. You're a lifesaver. I'll talk to you later. Ralph, be careful. Huh? What are you, what are you talking about? What are you doing over there and I'm over here? What do you got the suit on for? Bill, you were right. It was a rendezvous. You know that guy I was chasing? He's going to blow up pants and damn in about 20 minutes. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Hold it, tilt. When do we find all this out? Uh, well, I tell you what, partner. You've been in a trance. What? I'm telling you, you've been in a trance. You put yourself out with a post-hypnotic suggestion that you received last night. Give me a break. Bill, I... Ramrod, Five Star Maxwell, don't be silly. Bill, I am telling you the truth now. You received a post-hypnotic suggestion that puts you out every time you hear the word scenario. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bill, scenario. Oh. Hey, listen, we can't be playing around with games if uh, they're gonna blow up the dam. Come on, let's go. Bill, I am not playing games here. You have been hypnotized. Don't be silly. This is the worst scenario. Come on, Bill, scenario. I ever heard of my whole life. You keep going out on me like a bad light bulb every time you hear the word. Oh. What word? 
Well, you know, that word. Ralph, you know what you sound like sometimes? A school teacher. Got a pencil here. Hold the wheel. Hey, hey, wait, wait. When you are driving my car, be a little more careful. That word right there. Huh? Scenario. If you finish here, you will assume your positions along the inner perimeter. Scenario. Yeah. Oh, come on, Bill. Try and stay awake, all right? We don't have much time. No, but like... My watch keeps quitting on me. I don't, I don't know what happened to this day. Uh, it keeps coming and going. Ralph, did you go down here? Ralph? I will be at the command vehicle. No one is to leave this site unless given a direct order by myself or General Chow. So long, suckers. <laughs> my fairy godmother. Some character. Sean Liang, the sweet and sour pork pusher of Beverly Hills. He made us a deal, turned up a real heavy-duty commie for us. Named General Vin Chow. We picked him up this morning at a big six uh, motel in the valley. This guy is wanted by half the countries in the world for war crimes going all the way back to the fall of Peking when it was still Peking. Well, what was in it for Sean? No, well, money. He wanted our guarantee that he could uh, keep uh, the movie rights to the book that he's going to write. He's already got a literary agent. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, so anyway, case closed. No, it isn't exactly closed, Bill. I tell you what, Pam and I have been a little bit worried about you. Huh? I'm OK. I'm fine. Well, we thought that maybe we should go back to Erica Van Dam. And... Have you deprogrammed? Good idea. Are you going to start all that stuff again? Look, will you finally get it? The old Maxwell psyche is bulletproof, solid steel, just like that. Bill. I mean it. I don't want to hear another word about it. How about one word, Bill? Scenario. Look at that. 
I love it. Boy, I hate to lose the moment like this. Well. <clears throat> okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, good idea. Scenario. Of course, if you kids want to really believe in that, uh, sort of, uh, stuff. Cute. Want to make the early show, Bill? Well, she was a real nice lady, very attractive. It was a good show. We had a lot of fun. Yeah, sounds like a good scenario. <laughs>